Hi, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today we're going to do another quick little install of a product that I bought on, I think it was Amazon, um, and just a fun little toy to install. We're going to do the cross brace on the handlebars, the motocross brace or whatever. You can use that to attach other items to if you're going to, you know, take it out in the back country. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty decent. It, I, I ordered, I opted for a black one just because I didn't want anything super flashy. So let's see what we got in the box here. Got some kind of tool here, it looks like to tighten it up. Then the bar itself, it looks like it's expandable. Made out of, uh, you know, aluminum, uh, anodized aluminum, black anodized aluminum. And it also came with an Allen key probably to adjust these. So let's get started. Let's see how this works out. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. Now let's get on with the video. I'll show you how this thing all goes together. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Allen key that they provided and we're gonna open these, these bar end clamps up, which doesn't take much to do. And there's, there's little rubber protective uh, sleeves that go on the inside of that to keep it from, you know, marring up the handlebars or whatever. So let's get this one side opened up see where that puts us. So now you're gonna to wanna to get that clamp around the bars. And depending on where you wanna put that thing, or there's a little emblem on it. You might want it facing forward. You might want it facing back, who knows? I think I'm gonna face it forward just cause I don't wanna stare at it. So we'll, we'll go on this end with it. And we'll get this clamp over on the bars here. Probably have to go under some of your wiring. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this sleeve around this so as not to scratch up the bars, just in case I do want to take this thing off eventually, which I may. And then we'll bring this around. And it looks like it's going to fit pretty, pretty good. It looks like it's going to be a good fit. So I'm going to loosely fit this on here. So I'm making it just kind of hand tight. And now this is where the, I think the wrench is going to come in handy because we're going to want to loosen the, these ends up. And I think that allows for adjustment of the bar. Yeah, there we go. So that adjusts that out. We're gonna keep that loose. You're probably gonna to wanna to center that thing up as much as possible. Yeah, there we go. So now, now that those two ends are loose, let me get that turned for you. We're going to undo this next bar clamp. This is just a fun bike to throw little mods on, you know. I kind of want to mod this bike out, but I want to do it and keep it still stock and keep it true to its heritage. So I, I don't mind adding goodies to it that I can take off later and keep it stock if I decide I want to go back to stock. I don't want to heavily modify this bike at all. Get it threaded loosely. So this, you can see this, you, you want to center this thing up. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to center that up. And I'm going to, I'm going to use this tool as reference. So I'll, I'll get it as centered as I can on this side. I go over to this side. It looks pretty doggone center. And then what we're going to want to do is just tighten these up by hand. And tighten this one up by hand here. Just so you got to close to snug fit. We're going to recheck that gap on these. So now we'll use the wrench to tighten this up a little bit. Get this tightened up. And now we're going to tighten these bar clamps down. Um, and we want to position these in the same spot, kind of. So you want to make sure that's kind of level on the front of the bike. Then to finish things off, we're going to tighten these clamps down. Make sure the sleeve, the plastic protective sleeve, stays on the on the crossbar. So that's a quick little mod you can do to your CT and keep it looking really cool. And fairly inexpensive. I think I paid 15 bucks for this crossbar thing. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I'll give you an idea what it looks like there. We got that on. 
All right, that's gonna about wrap it up for this video, folks. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Stay tuned for more CT125 videos, scooter videos, motorcycle videos, any other video that I can think of that maybe will strike your fancy. But this little crossbar is kind of cool. I liked it, so that's why I bought it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Anyhow, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, check us out. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Just remember folks, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.